Hi, I'm Becky and I'm a health care assistant at the IOH Bath. Um, I started my role in September as a HGA on the William Budd inpatient ward. Um, we we uh, care for patients who have cancer and they're having treatment. So before I was a health care assistant, um, I worked in agriculture. I used to drive all the big tractors in the fields and um, look after my sheep. I really enjoyed it. Um, I have like 60 orphan lambs and I raised them all up on my farm. Um, and I always enjoyed sitting in my big tractor because I'm only little, <laughs> so I enjoyed it. Um, however, like, I, I did a variety of different in like, industries within that, um, gained really good skills um, after I left school. However, I decided that I wanted a career where I could progress and I really enjoy looking after and nursing animals. Um, and I'm also a really big people person, so throughout the pandemic, um, my friend started here at Bath as a TNA and she said what an amazing experience it was and she said why don't you give it a go so I, I applied in September um, and I never look back really so obviously before I got the job like I had no um, experience in care at all so it was quite daunting at first um, but I found that everyone was really supportive um, and I just got trained in the everyday run-ins as a HCA. So, you know, I'd, I'd arrive on the ward and I'd help the patients have their breakfast and then um, like help them with washes, maybe take them for a shower, um, get them into their own clothes if they had them. Um, and then I would just help through their day. So get them beverages like tea and coffee or help them get out, sit out of bed, um, take them for a little walk if, if they were able to. Um, and then we like do that, like hand out lunches, um, check their obs, and support the nursing staff where, wherever we can. It's really nice to just chat with the patients, and because um, I feel like I have quite an active life outside of work, my patients love to hear all my lambing stories or what I've been up to at the weekend. Um, I mean, who doesn't love baby photos of lambs? <laughs> and it's really nice because in our work, with the nature of the ward, if people have treatment, they can be in for quite a long time whilst they recover. And so it's really nice to have a relationship with them. Um, and it, to me, it doesn't really feel like a job, really. I just feel like I'm visiting them, chatting about like my, their day. Um, and it's really rewarding being part of their journeys. Um, and when, when you go off for a weekend and you come back, like they'll ask you about particular things that you spoke to them about Friday. And it's just, I don't know, it just makes me feel like you're making a difference. And to me, that, that's not a job. And so, yeah, when I wake up at five in the morning, when it's frosty and I have to my car, then maybe it's hard work. But as soon as I actually arrive at work, I just, it's just being me really. Um, and like their patients light up and when you get to see them go home or, um, they have really good news it, it's just amazing like, and it really makes you realize that's why you're doing the job that I do really well, also I love about the fact that a HCA you get so many opportunities like my ward and other wards um, in William Bell like, they've been really supportive and there's sort of no end to your journey like, if you want to learn like they love that and there's a massive scope of what you can do um, there's and there's loads of different roles within the NHS so like you can start as a HCA and there's other jobs like an occupational therapist to help the patients like what do they need to get home or the physios like to get them up and mobile and to help them you know get up and recover um, there's dietitians, the doctors the nurses the specialists like phlebotomists like there's such a massive range of jobs that you know if you're willing to put the like the effort in like they will snatch you up and you also like every ward is different so like in our ward we're quite acute and um there's other wards where like you have clinics or like daycare and it once you're in it like once your foot is in the door there's loads of opportunities and apprenticeship schemes that if you want to later on do your nursing there's routes to be able to do that or if you want to learn more clinical skills I mean I, I can learn to take bloods and put catheters in and all these things I mean a catheter I've never even heard of before still I started so um I just love it really and I'd really recommend it to anyone if you're thinking I'm not sure what to do I just say give it a go because everywhere is different um, and I really love it on William Budd because it's quite a fast-paced environment and um, which I really enjoy 
but there's other other wards where um, they might come in just for the day to have treatment or you could go to A&E where it's like really busy but I think your personality there's loads of different wards or there might be something you're interested in that you can go and have have a look so the other thing I really enjoy about healthcare assistant is there's a lot of like flexible hours. So some wards would do set days um, and other wards do long days. So for me, I'll, I'll do a long day of half seven to eight o'clock at night. Um, but that might only be three to maybe four times a week. So because of all my animals, um, it means that on my days off, I can go lambing or I go back to my old job where I drive all, all my JCB and tractors. So for me, it gives me a lot of flexibility to, to do what I want. And if you have children, as well um, you know you can be flexible about working when like the care for them works um, so yeah if you're like a people person and you fancy like making a difference in someone's life um, I really recommend just applying for a healthcare assistant because once you're in like you can go anywhere really